Welcome to 5 Minute Tool Reviews, where I review a tool that I bought with my own money in 5 minutes or less. Today I'm reviewing my rigid R4513 heavy duty portable job site table saw. As you see, this saw sits right here in my trailer whenever I'm going on site to do work and gets bounced around at 70 miles an hour and up and down the highway. And this is what I do from all of my on-site production work. So I've had this saw a little over a year now. And I've got to say, overall, I really like it. I do believe that for the money, this is probably one of the best job site saws you can get. Um, it's in the same price range as your DeWalt and your Bosch saws. Um, I would say that you can't go wrong with either of these three. And the stand's held up to bounce around the trailer. The saw's held up to bounce around the trailer. As you see, I've got my big grizzly cabinet saw right there. So I'm kind of comparing apples to oranges with this. But I will say that this saw is just as accurate for ripping and cross cutting as that guy. Now when it comes to dados and more like their precision millwork stuff, then obviously the big uh, 500 pound $1,500 saw is going to trump this guy. But if you have a small shop, if you're a portable carpenter, if your wife needs to park her car in the garage um, and you need a saw that can move out of the way, this is a great, great option for you. The fence the, is the main reason I chose this particular saw. In my opinion, it's one of the best fences you, you can get on a job site saw. It locks front and back. It does make a beautiful noise whenever you slide it in and out. Obviously, this cursor moves so you can dial in accurately. Uh, the fence is very easy to calibrate. You have four Allen wrenches right here that you can loosen to cant uh, the fence in or out. Um, it locks down super solid. I can pick up the entire saw by the fence. I'm not going to do that because it'll probably break on camera. Huh? This can take a data stack. It is unplugged. I believe this can take up to a three-quarter inch, eight-inch dado stack. Um, I don't use dado stacks a lot. I always use these thin kerf uh, for Diablo blades. Um, they are perfect for this. It's a great combination. And you can see um, on an older video, I actually built these flaps to improve the dust collection on this. And that really helped a lot. Obviously, it comes with your riving knife. And you can see the little latch that it locks in and out with. Up here on the front, you have uh, three adjustments. The first is your bevel, which you turn like this, and so you can dial it in. Um, this gauge is accurate, but I noticed this little guy will get knocked easily out of alignment. Uh, you can pick up a little $20 uh, digital uh, bevel gauge to use, and those are absolutely worth it, and that's what I use if I'm going to do any kind of bevels. But once you do get it set, it is accurate, and then you lock this down, and it doesn't move. It does have a hard stop at zero and 45 that is adjustable, but I haven't needed to. It's pretty accurate out of the box. All right, to raise and lower the blade, you do this right here. And now this all does shake a little bit, obviously, as you're raising and lowering the blade. But that's just part of it with a portable saw. Once you get everything locked down and the feet adjusted right, a good outfeed table, um, I have built kitchen cabinets with this, I've built Murphy beds with this, I've built built-in cabinetry with this, dog kennels with this. I've built a lot of stuff with this saw and other portable saws like this. With the right portable saw, you can get almost shop accuracy out of it. If this was my only table saw, I'd still be able to do everything that I do in a custom furniture shop. So would I buy it again? Absolutely. If you can hold off until those Black Friday specials and save yourself about $150, $200, definitely do that. Um, but even at full price, this is definitely on par with the other saws in its price range. And the only ones that I would recommend would be this saw, the Bosch, and the DeWalt um, portable saws. 
I used one of the cheaper ones, uh, the Hitachi, that went really bad really quick. Um, so definitely spend your money and get the good ones, or if you really have a lot of money to burn through, go ahead and pony up and get that saw stop. Yep, so this is 5-Minute Tour Reviews. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.